the Special Olympics World Winter Games fast approaching now, and today Walmart stepped in to make a big contribution. This is the Evening News. Today, the 2009 Special Olympics World Winter Games took a step closer to reaching their fundraising goal thanks to a significant donation from Walmart. A check for $1.1 million was given to Special Olympics organizers this morning. Organizers say this brings them to $28 million in fundraising so far. Um, we have about $3 million left to raise, but we're, you know, we're doing well with the fundraising. I think it's a challenging you know, um, economy for, for anyone in any, any type of business. The $1.1 million will be used to green the games by promoting recycling and using eco-friendly buses to transport athletes and coaches. This is Walmart's second donation, by the way. Last February, Walmart donated $500,000. The games begin on February 7th. 2009 Special Olympics World Winter Games will be able to go green in February thanks in part to a big donation the games received today. The Walmart Foundation announced it is giving a $1.1 million grant to the games being held in Idaho. The money will help launch a Greening the Games initiative to help reduce the carbon footprint left by the event. Officials say they hope to be trendsetters when it comes to creating green sporting events. We're really taking every step that we possibly can uh, to set an example as a world-class sporting event in leaving as minimal footprint as we can um, leading up to, during, and following the Games. Earlier this year, the Walmart Foundation gave $500,000 to the 2009 Games, bringing the company's total contribution to $1.6 million. The 2009 Special Olympics World Winter Games will kick off on February 7th. This is 2009 Special Olympics World Winter Games are a big step closer to reaching a big goal. A major donor is looking to help green up the games with a huge donation. The Walmart Foundation has given over a million dollars to help launch the greening of the upcoming Special Olympics World Games. It's more than just about recycling efforts. They want to use this as an educational platform. And also creating an education initiative that we can push out to not only our local citizens, but to everyone coming in from around the world so they can learn how to be... Uh, more eco-friendly in their everyday lives. The fact that everyone is being forced to tighten their belts these days, this donation will go to good use. I think it's a challenging, you know, um, economy for, for anyone in any, any type of business, but, you know, the games will, will be first class. And there's still plenty of time for you to get on board. Every dollar helps, and, you know, we're, we're looking to, to our communities to, you know, to make everyone proud of bringing the games to Idaho, to make them, you know, as great as we can. The committee now just needs about $3 million. The games are scheduled to start in February. 2009 Special Olympics World Winter Games is a big step closer to its fundraising goal and becoming more environmentally friendly at the same time. This morning, the Walmart Foundation donated $1.1 million to the games. Part of today's donation will also help green up the games by helping recycle materials and by providing buses that run on a sulfur diesel fuel that's environmentally friendly providing these alternative fuel uh, buses and recycling bins and, you know, alternative transportation for athletes and spectators. So. The Walmart Foundation also gave $1.6 million to the Special Olympics World Winter Games, making it the biggest corporate donor. Organizers say they now have about $3 million left to raise, but the games will go on no matter what. More than 3,000 athletes and their families will converge on Idaho in February for those games.